I'm going to skip ahead in the lecture a few slides because the last few slides that I'm skipping over we've already covered in, in kind of me going ahead. And so the next thing that I want to talk about is creating a panorama uh, or it's called a photo merge in Bridge. And so I want to show you how you could take two or three or four or more images and you could attach them to one another um, but you don't have to do it in a manual way. You don't have to open up Photoshop and create the long skinny document and kind of move them around. What you could do is you can use Bridge to create that photo merge. And so I have these images that are available on our stock site and I'm going to open them via Bridge. I'm going to select all three of them and choose the Tools menu, Photoshop, and then Photo Merge. And then we'll kind of experiment with these layouts to see which one works the best. Um, the first one, Auto, works pretty well, but we'll kind of we'll try the rest of them and see. And we'll see that it can create a panoramic image for us that maybe we couldn't capture with our camera to begin with. And so you could kind of take a picture of the left side, the middle, and the right side, overlapping slightly, and then Photoshop can kind of recognize how it should be attached or pasted together. And so I've got Bridge open, and I downloaded these three images. And they're just three stock images I took of, like, I think this was in Germany, kind of in the Black Forest somewhere. And so with them, if I select all three of those images that would go together, you can do this with images that don't go together, but you probably are going to get an error or you're going to get something that you don't want as the result. But these overlap, right? And so if I choose the Tools menu, so if we zoom in here, choose the Tools menu, Photoshop, and Photo Merge, we can launch the Photo Merge panel or uh, dialog box in Photoshop. Notice that we've already been redirected to Photoshop. I'm just going to leave the defaults and see what happens, right? And then after I get something I don't want, then I can kind of tweak it some more. But let's just see what happens to begin with. It'll take a minute because it's going to try to figure out how these images go together. And so it figured out that it could create a panoramic image that goes across the countryside here um, by pasting the three images together. It can't make a perfectly square document, so you can see that it's kind of rough on the edges. But you could then use the crop tool, and maybe you want to crop it to, I don't know, uh, 10 inches across and 3 inches tall. And then once you crop it, you can use the crop feature to get rid of any rough edges that might be in your document. And then you have a panoramic image that you could print or use for a banner on a website or something like that. Let's do it again. So let's close out. I'm not going to save my document. We're back in Bridge now. So I have Bridge open with the images selected. If you choose the Tools menu, Photoshop, and then Photo Merge. Let's just see what happens if we change uh, to, let's go spherical. And hit OK. Let's see if we get a different result. And so it looks similar, but if we compared it to the first one, it might look slightly different. And so you can try all the different options that you have available to you in that panel. Um, but the important part is that Photoshop will do it for you. If you choose the right tool and you say, I know these pictures go together, but they're kind of short and I want them to be long and skinny. I want a panorama. You can use the photo merge option from Bridge and you can have Photoshop figure out how to paste them together to get them to line up.